Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Appalachian Home Co. So today's video we are going to be doing some fun sewing projects using some really pretty fabrics that I got from Joann Fabrics and we're also going to be using our Cricut machines. You can cut all these projects out with your Cricut machine so this is going to be great even if you're a beginner and the best thing of all that these are all sellable projects. You can make these and sell these on Etsy, sell these on your website or just make these for fun for you to use at home. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the first fun project. It is going to be these keychain lanyards. I have seen these all over Etsy for sale. I have also seen these on YouTube, people making these on YouTube. So on to the first project. Here are the fabrics that I'm gonna be using for today's project. This is just some fat quarters that I got from Joann's. It came in this little bundle, um, five pieces each. They're all 100% cotton. The Butterfly Bliss Bundle, you may find this on Amazon, I'll look for you guys. Um, but that's what I'm using today, it has some pink fabric with some blue and white flowers. There's a butterfly swatch, um, a little strap swatch, I think this and this is what I'm going to use for those lanyards, um, keychains. And then finally for my face cloths, I thought this would be pretty to make some face cloths out of this fabric here. And I also found this lanyard hardware. This just goes on the ends of your keychains. And these I got from Amazon as well. I'm also using a Brother sewing machine. You can use any sewing machine that makes a simple straight stitch. Okay, for these keychains, this is gonna be super simple. I'm just gonna create a rectangle that is the greatest width that we can go. I'm gonna go 11.49 um, and I'm gonna unlock my lock and the height I'm gonna make is four inches. So now it's just simple. I'm gonna go to make it. I'm gonna go do this on the mat and I wanna make two of these. So I'm gonna cut a piece of fabric um, that is about 12 by nine. First, I'm going to select my material settings, and for this particular type of fabric, I am using a medium weight cotton setting in my materials. First, you want to select this browse all materials, and then I just typed in the word cotton because that's the fabric I'm using, and then I found this medium fabrics like cotton, and this setting worked the best for this particular fabric that I'm using. Now I'm gonna cut off just a little piece of fabric to fit on the mat. You might be wondering why not go ahead and cut out some squares, but when you are making multiple copies of things, it's just so easy to place your fabric on the mat and let the machine cut out perfect little squares for you. You can be sure that they're all gonna be straight, they're all gonna be square, and they're all gonna line up exactly how you want them to. So I'm just using a rotary cutter to cut out a rough square to fit on the mat, and then I'll just be sticking this on the pink mat, which is the fabric grip mat. You can also use the green mat for this as well, especially if your green mat has lost some of its stickiness. So either one of those will work for fabric. Before cutting your project, you wanna make sure your rotary blade is installed on your machine. It is the blade that has a little single wheel on the end. It is not the scoring wheel. This is the rotary blade, which actually has a sharp wheel and will actually be doing the cutting on our fabric. Anytime you're using fabric, you'll want to use the rotary blade. So once that's installed, you can just press the go button and we're gonna start cutting out our project. So now I have two perfect rectangular shapes cut out, ready to go. I'm gonna be using my Cricut Easy Press mat and my little mini press just to press out all the fold lines. And now we're ready to start making our lanyards. The first thing I did was fold each rectangle in half long ways. And then I just pressed a fold line to go by. And I'm gonna fold in each long side toward the center fold line. And once I have both of those pressed down, I'm just going to fold both of those in half. Mm -hmm. 
and this is ready to sew together. I'm gonna also do the second one the same way. You can Okay, so I have my sewing machine out. This is just a brother sewing machine. This is gonna be super simple. Okay, so I'm gonna set this on um, just zero, zero stitch. That is just a straight, simple stitch. And I always leave mine at two and a half and zero, zero. So the stitch length is 2.5. And this is always gonna be set on zero, zero when you're doing a straight stitch. So now I'm ready to sew. I'm just going to sew a straight stitch along each edge and I'm going to get as close to the edge as I possibly can. So I'm going to sew about an eighth of an inch away from each edge. So once you have all of the edges sewed up, you just want to fold the fabric in half and I'm going to sew a line across the top just to close that up. I'm getting ready to put on the hardware so I just want that in to be stable and not come apart. Here is the kit that I got from Amazon, the lanyard hardware, and that's exactly what I typed in when I searched for it, but I'll leave a link to this. This kit also came with a set of pliers specifically made for putting on the hardware to your lanyard. And the easiest way I found to put it on was just to place the little metal clip into the pliers and then place the fabric in there and just squeeze it down completely until you have a really tight grip. For our next project, we're gonna be making some reusable face wipes. These are good to remove makeup. I saw these on Etsy also. I'm gonna be using this great flower fabric. And I'm also going to be using a pack of microfiber cloths. You can also use terry cloths for your face cloths. These are a little bit softer, so I'm just gonna use the microfiber for all of my face cloths. In design space to set up your design, I'm just using a simple circle shape. I'm making these three and a half inches. I'm going to cut out um, a shape for the front of the face cloth, which is the pretty flower pattern. I'm also going to create a different color circle because that is what I'm gonna cut out the actual terry cloth. Both of those materials are going to need different settings. So you wanna make sure to create two different circles for each different material. Now I'm using the rectangle shape and I'm going to create a little handle to go on some of these face cloths. So this handle is going to be two inches by four inches. I'm going to fold it in just like I did the lanyards and sew it on the top of some of these. And now we're ready to make our project. Again, I'm going to be using the mat with the Maker 3, my 12 by 12 light grip pink mat. You can also change the number of project copies that you want to make. I'm going to be making four of these. So I have four of the dark circles, four of the little gray squares that I'm gonna create the tabs, and four of the white circles, which are gonna be my terry cloth. Okay, so first we're gonna cut out the white microfiber, and I'm just gonna hit continue on this first mat. Now when you're selecting your material for the microfiber, Cricut actually has a microfiber setting, so that is exactly what I used for this. I'm just going to up the setting just a little bit. I'm going to be using my rotary blade for this as well. This is the size of microfiber cloth that I'm using. This came in a pack. I think I got this at a wholesale place um, in Tennessee, but the brand is Oxcord. So if you're looking for microfiber cloths, these are cheap and they're super good quality. Um, these would make good cleaning cloths too. But I have a scrap piece that I actually tested out before. I'm gonna show you how I cut this out. To keep these little microfibers off my mat, I'm gonna be using transfer tape. This is just a Transfer Right Ultra brand transfer tape. I'm gonna 
place it face so sticky side up sticky side is up and then I'm gonna take this microfiber cloth and I'm gonna put it um, directly on the transfer tape now you can take your fabric grip mat and I'm just gonna place this here on the mat and I'm gonna smooth all that down Okay, so I'm gonna make sure these two wheels, at least two or three of these wheels are going over my cloth just to make sure that it stays in place. Now I'm gonna pull the transfer tape and fabric off of the mat. And you're gonna see that there's gonna be some little pieces that stick here. So this transfer tape, I'm just going to throw that away. Um, but these are still attached in just like a couple areas. So all I do is just take a pair of scissors and just snap those little pieces right off. These are cut. Um, if you look at your transfer tape, it was cut through. So you don't need to up the pressure. I just go through here and just snap away those little extra pieces of microfiber that are still attached. Okay, so now I have everything cut out. Here's my circles. I went back and cut out a couple of those two by four squares that I'm gonna make the little handles with. And then I have my microfiber. I'm gonna put all these together with our pins. And um, then we're gonna move to the sewing part, which is gonna be super easy, I promise. Okay, so first I'm gonna fold my little handles. I'm gonna do two without handles and two with handles just so you can see the difference. I'm gonna be folding these just like I did those little keychain lanyards, only I'm only gonna be sewing up one side just to close these. And then we're gonna sew the face cloths all together. Again, I'm just using a simple straight stitch and just back stitching at the beginning and the end to make sure that these don't unravel and don't come loose. Now you can put everything together. I'm placing the handles on top of the right side of the fabric and I'm just pinning that down. And then I'm going to be flipping it over and placing right sides together on the fabric and your microfiber cloth. And you can pin everything together. I just wanted to make sure that everything stayed in place as I was sewing. You're also going to be leaving about a one inch opening so that you can flip this right side out when you get done sewing. So you may want to mark with your pins one inches to just remember when to stop and start with your sewing. Once you have all of your sewing done, you can go ahead and flip this out. Just I'll just use my fingers to kind of push the fabric back through the hole. And after I have everything turned out, I'm going to secure the hole closed with some pins. And I do this so that it doesn't come open while I'm sewing. Um, and I'm also ironing that seam down to kind of make it easier to fold under. So once you have all your pins in and you're ready to top stitch, we're going to be top stitching all the way around the top. You just want to sew as close to the edge as you can and make sure you're gripping both edges of your fabric. Once you've sewn all the way around, you are done. So our, for our last Cricut sewing project, we're going to make these really super cute headbands. These are designed to fit children, but you can definitely make these longer if you want them to fit adults. We're going to be using our standard grip longer mat for this and this butterfly pattern of fabric. I'm just going to place the fabric on the mat and cut away the excess. And I will show you in Cricut's projects 
which project we're going to actually be using for this. Cricut actually has a fabric headband projects under access. So if you have access, you can definitely go under the sewing category in Cricut's projects and find this project. But if you don't have access, it's super simple. You will just need to create two oval shapes. They're going to be 15 inches long by about three inches tall. So if you create two of those, then you can do this project the same way. I lined up my fabric according to the dimensions that's shown here on the mat. You'll see here in just a second, I kind of misjudged this a little bit and ended up having to create a, another oval shape, but that's okay. We went back and redid it. And again, I'm using that medium fabric cotton setting for my material setting on my machine. For this project, you're also going to need a piece of elastic. I'm using a piece that is three quarter inch wide and I'm gonna cut mine about four or five inches. You can cut this longer if you want your headband to fit more loosely or if you want your headband to fit a larger size. So I'm just gonna cut mine and I'm gonna be sewing this to the ends of the headband. You also wanna place the right sides of your fabric facing one another when you sew this. And you're also gonna leave a little opening like we did in our face cloths to turn this out. Now we're going to turn this out through the little opening that you left and did not sew. I always leave my opening along one of the long ends and not the short end. It's a lot easier to do it that way. So once you have that turned out, I'm just going to use my scissors and poke out those corners. And then we're going to iron everything down before we top stitch around it. And now I'm going to place one end of that elastic on one end of the headband. There's a couple different ways you could do this, but I'm just going to sew it directly onto the headband. I'm just going to sew a triangle shape to match the tip of the headband. So I'm going to sew across and then I'm going to raise my foot and then I'm just going to turn the whole fabric around until I can get that triangle shape sewn on the end. Then I'm going to attach the other end with a pin and sew the same way. You just want to make sure that your triangle shape is on the same side. So I'm making sure that my stitch lines are visible on the same side of the headband. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you love sewing and you love Cricut, I hope this gave you some good ideas to get started with some projects. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will subscribe if you like these videos and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching all of my videos and I will see you back again in the next one.